It's so nice out right now. It's 65 and sunny. It's sunny. Can't beat that for January. I was gonna drive. But it's nice to get your legs moving in the morning sometimes. Just gotta stop being so lazy. As much as I like making my own espresso, this takes the cake. It's Sunday today. I always tell myself I'm going to take it easy and just relax and then I end up, you know, building a fence or something. Let's see what we do. I need to get some toilet paper. Too much information. Daily dose of infrastructure. They're putting in some new traffic signals here. To replace some of the old guys. These are the old ones. Also, I do enjoy answering questions from you guys. so. Anything you guys want to know, let me know. I'll try and answer it in the next video. I wanted to take a moment and observe this bush here and appreciate the beauty of nature in January. We've got some flower buds popping out of this uh, jasmine vine. You can see that all through the bush there are little buds coming out. will make for a very colorful plant. It's pretty cool, you just throw it in the ground, all the flowers fall off, and then within a couple months, they all come back. So I figured I'd take a second to talk about uh, the show I'm working on right now, as well as the show I'm not working on, and the show I may be working on in the future. Big bump. Uh, so right now, I'm on this movie called Don't Worry Darling. It's a new line Warner Brothers thing. Uh, DP is Maddie Libatique. It's being directed by Olivia Wilde, who's also acting in it. Starring Frances Pugh. Uh, a lot of you might know her from uh, Midsummer, the girl from Midsummer, as well as Harry Styles is in it. Watermelon sugar. Uh, Chris Pine, uh, and a bunch of others. I was also invited to do a movie being directed by David O. Russell. Uh, being shot by Chivo, which I was really excited about, but because our movie ran long because of COVID delays, I wasn't able to do that. Um, that one, I'm mean, getting increasingly bummed about just because of the people that are coming onto it, the cast, um, and everything. And then in the future, uh, around April, mid-March, uh, I'm supposed to do the Star Wars Obi-Wan TV show which we've already been testing for last year, doing stuff in the volume, the big LED stage that they shot Mandalorian on. So that's been really interesting to learn about that. That would start you know, sometime in April. And obviously I, I can't share anything about that. Um, yeah, it's because it's Star Wars and, you know, Disney. They take their NDAs really seriously. So this is the Mega Mart known as Costco. It's a bulk, bulk item store, so if you want one gallon of milk, you're gonna end up buying four. A little vacuum upgrade maybe? This is one of my favorite features of the Tesla. There's this hatch. Not bad for a little car. Check this out, new Tesla update.
I just honked at a guy for coming the wrong way um, down this street, and it played La Cucaracha afterwards, which was kind of funny. You can choose different sounds. You got La Cucaracha, you got Posh, which I kind of like. Well, I never. This hose is a lot beefier than my other one. This is the old vacuum. It's kind of a wimpy hose, small. I'm gonna segue that vacuum section into a footwear section. I wanna show you the two shoes that get me through 90% of my days. One, the house shoes from Halflinger. They're like a wool house shoe with a cork bottom and a rubber sole. Awesome for like slipping into if you're running outside real quick. Or walking around the house if it's cold. Highly recommend, or German. And two, the Solomon XA Pro 3Ds. Super comfy and I added these inserts in there from REI because I was wearing these Nike skateboard shoes and they were starting to get really uncomfortable and my heels would hurt. So I got these now and they feel like you're walking on clouds. And I'd usually wear these, but for some reason I went with the skateboard shoe for most of this year. Not worth it. Get these and these. It's 81 degrees today, and it's January. It's too much. Whew. Stig's going on. Oh yeah. We had a car crash into my roommate Jenny's truck right here last night. Left a bunch of debris. Here's the video of that. Pretty much nothing happened to the truck. Although the transmission might be screwed because it really shoved the truck back. I've seen that before. I've seen that. 